latest now on that truck packed with dangerous nuclear material stolen in Mexico. It was found abandoned with some of the radioactive material missing. No sign yet of the gunman who stole it. ABC's chief justice correspondent Pierre Thomas has been tracking the story from the start. He joins us now. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. It's been an incredible 24 hours with that lethal material stolen and now apparently recovered. The Steve's, the thieves are still on the run, but they are now in grave danger. Mexican authorities discovered the stolen truck and the highly radioactive material Cobalt 60 abandoned in the countryside not far from Mexico City. It culminated in the huge search and manhunt that spanned six states in Mexico and had some U.S. officials worried about the prospect of the stolen radioactive material being used to make a so-called dirty bomb. It's a lot of radioactivity. You could get a lethal dose in just a few minutes from being exposed to this source. Authorities say the container carrying the cobalt was found less than a mile from the truck. The thieves opened the container and left the lethal material on the ground. Apparently, all of it recovered. Police are actively checking Mexican hospitals for evidence of anyone suffering from radiation exposure. The device was stolen on its way from Tijuana en route to a radioactive waste storage facility not far from Mexico City. On Monday at 2 a.m., two armed men confronted the truck driver at this remote gas station. The gunman then took off with the truck and its cargo. Authorities don't know who they are or if they even knew the radioactive material was on board. Mexican officials suspect the theft was a carjacking and the thieves may have been more interested in stealing the truck than the device. It's still an extremely dangerous situation. The area where the material was found is surrounded and the recovery and cleanup may take days to complete. George. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much.